All right, so I stand corrected on the fan. I was able to fix one of them. So this fan now, it actually spins really well. I redid the grease, so should be good. I'll redo the grease on this one. Let's see if I can remove it the same way. So I have to kind of apply pressure from the back. Try and keep the pressure even. If you have like a special tool that can push all three sides like equally, that would be the best way. But since I don't have something like that, maybe I can make something like that eventually. But I'm just going to push really hard until it pops off just like that. So here you can see it comes out. It does have this little groove here and that's what kind of clips the fan in place. Um, I am going to clean out this fan because it's a little dusty. So it looks like this can be repaired anyways. Um, so I guess sometimes if it seems stuck, you just kind of have to try harder. Um, but sometimes it does damage the bearing. It can pull the bearing out, so be careful with these. All right. But if you're, if you're planning on buying a new fan anyways, might as well give it a shot. All right. So what I do is I take a little synthetic motor oil and I just drip it in the center just like that. Wiggle it around, make sure it gets in all the bearings. Make sure clean the dust off the fan now that since you have it open. All right, after you do that, just take the fan, line it back up, push it back in, make sure it snaps in place. Okay, so once you do that, you can, I recommend um, instead of those air cans that you guys get one of these. It's very nice. Um, it's called Giotto's or something, Rocket Blaster or something. I don't know, but get one of these. They're very nice. You don't have to worry about it blowing out cold air that can cause condensation. And you can use it unlimited times. It's just if you get tired and you have to rest. But this fan's definitely better as well. Okay. So before doing this, this fan was super wobbly. Um, but now, this fan is actually better than that one. <laughs> so I might have to take that fan out. Okay. Yeah, this fan is really good. Let me check this one here. Yeah, they're both good. Alright, so that's another trick, I guess, to repair these kinds of fans. Um, if it has the metal cover on the back, uh, like I showed on this one, I think. So if it has this metal cover on the back, you might be lucky um, if you're planning to just buy a new fan anyways. Just try and force it out. Make sure, again, to apply even pressure. Um, if you have a special tool or you can kind of like try and form something in here, you can get like some rubber pieces or something that are all the same size and then use some pad to just push them all down. But anyways, um, that seemed to have worked. So hopefully this video will help you guys if you have to fix your fans. Um, again, like and subscribe so other people can find these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.